What's up guys, Flashfire here, and today I'm bringing you another team building video. As you can see, today we're using Mega Garchomp. Now before we get started, if you can, leave a like right down below this video. I want to see if we can get this to 45 likes. If we can, I'll put a pastebin file of this team down in the description, uh, so you guys can just copy and paste it and show it out and play with it, because hopefully it's going to be a nice, fun, competitive team. It's been doing quite well on the ladder so far, so I'd assume it's going to be doing quite well. Um... I just, before we get into this, I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads over the weekend. I was kind of ill. Um, no excuse, really. I should have recorded them in advance, but whatever. Um, they will go up this week, so I will make up for it. But don't worry about it. Anyway, uh, we're going to get into this team right now. We are going to be running Mega Chomp because it's one of the Megas that I haven't covered yet. And a lot of you guys were asking me to do it. So I thought I would. Uh, it's not my favorite Mega to use. I won't lie to you. It's not the best of Megas at all. But we've tried to make it the best of it, and we'll see what we we'll see how we go. Anyway, um, what we've done here is we've gone for Earthquake, Fire Blast, Draco, and Stealth Rock. This is... It's not going to be a sweeper, obviously. It's more of a wall breaker and kind of a pseudo tank chomp, I guess. It gains a lot of extra bulk when it megas. I know, obviously, you don't get the Rocky Helmet, rough skin damage, all that kind of stuff. But um, it's kind of there to just kind of soak up hits, set rocks. This actually beats regular tank chomp as well. So I'll explain that right now. The EV spread we've gone for... I'm not sure what I'm doing with my... Hold on, this is meant to be... This is meant to be 248, not 148. Anyway, um, what we're doing here is we've gone for max HP, um, and then we've put enough speed in that we speed creep uh, Tank Chomp. So Tank Chomp hits 240 speed. Uh, before we Mega, we guarantee to outspeed it. After we Mega, we outspeed by one point. So that's the plan there. Uh, just because 92 is a really weird tier, um, and I didn't really see the value of going for max speed. I feel like this is this is fine as it is. Um, so we're going Stealth Rock, Draco, Fire Blast, Earthquake. Draco is guaranteed to KO uh, all variants of other Garchomp, which is nice. Uh, it also two-hit KOs Lando T, which is a common switch in for this. Uh, Fire Blast is guaranteed to Oko Sizzle and picks up a two-hit KO on Ferrothorn. There's no way you can make that an Oko guaranteed, so I didn't feel the need to invest fully in Special Attack. Um... The same with Draco, there's no way you can guarantee Draco Oko's uh, Lando T, so I didn't see the need to invest fully in Special Attack. And then the um, the, and the same with putting a positive Special Attack nature, you don't need that, it doesn't pick up any extra KOs or anything like that. So we've gone for the positive Attack nature just to Earthquake stuff real hard. So that's the plan there, this is our Garchomp. I feel like it, I feel like it's been doing okay, I was originally running a fast set. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve this Garchomp set, this is the set that I'm the most iffy with on this team. It's been doing okay. Um, but I'd like to improve it. If you guys have any suggestions, remember to comment down below. But obviously, wait till you've seen the rest of the team before you do that. So, um, like I said, this thing breaks through Ferro and Lando really nicely. Um, and it breaks through other chomps. Lots of kind of bulky, wally stuff. Um, so we're going to be running some stuff that can take advantage of the lack of those mons on teams. Um, what I'm saying is we're going to be running an Azu. I've never actually used a choice band Azu on a team. And I wanted to try out. And it's actually been, actually been doing really, really well. So I like it a lot. Um... And we're going to be running quite a standard set. We're just going to go for um, Aqua Jet, Waterfall, um, if I can spell, Play Rough, and then Knock Off. Uh, we went for Knock Off over Superpower just because um, we have fighting coverage on the team otherwise. So I feel like we're safe doing this. And it's nice to have Knock Off. Um, I should point out before we go any further, this is very much an offensive team. This is not... Um, I, I'm usually, I usually build balanced teams, but recently I've... I've built a couple of offensive teams, and I've really gone into it. So this is going to be an offensive team. So if you guys aren't into that, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Um, so yeah, we're going to be running uh, 168 in speed. This allows us to outspeed uninvested base 70s. Um, and then we're going to be putting the rest in HP. Um, the Well, one, 164 would allow us to outspeed uninvested base 70s, but the we had an extra of four EVs lying around. I didn't want to put them in HP because that would give you an even number of HP, and that's bad. So... Whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, this is this is a really, really powerful mod. Uh, Choice Bandit Aqua Jet is amazing, especially with that huge power. Knockoff's great. It, it just gives really great coverage, and I love it. So, this and Chomp are our slow threats uh, that can break through walls and all that kind of stuff, and they're fantastic, and I love them. Um, the next two things we're going to do, uh, because of the coverage that Chomp provides and the, the way it clears Ferrothorn and Chomp and all of that kind of thing, I decided it was a good idea to run Bird Spam on this team. So we are going to be running Staraptor, um, which you guys will see when I start uploading the IEP. It's such a powerful Pokemon. Th that has been one of the one of the crutch mons that I've been using in that competition. It's doing really well for me. But anyway, uh, we're going to be running Staraptor and Talonflame because this is a really, really nice offensive core. Um, it hits really hard and it's, it's just fantastic. So um, we're going to be running Choice Scarf, um, Staraptor, and then we're going to be running Swords, Swords Dance, Talonflame. So we're going to... I haven't run... I, 
I very rarely use these mods. I very rarely use Talonflame, and it's nice. It's going to be nice for me to be able to use this again. I haven't used Talonflame in a very long time, I feel. So um, I'm quite excited for that. So we're going to go for Double Edge, Brave Bird, Close Combat, and U-Turn. Um, we're actually going to call this with a Volt Switch user in a sec as well. So we're going to have a Volt Turn core. Re two really nice offensive cores, and I, I feel really good about it. So we're going to go for Jolly right here. Uh, just to let us outspeed other base 100 scarfers and stuff and if we get our item knocked off then we have speed then we speed tie with other base 100s all that kind of thing and then talent flame as i said we're going to be running a um we're going to be running a swords dance set so we're going to be going for sharp beak because that allows us to ko um thunderous at plus two after stealth rock damage which is why having the stealth rocks on here is very important with getting the stealth rocks up is going to be very important to guarantee a couple of ko's uh with the pokes that we're using so it, it's going to be important to get those up um, and keep them up, hopefully. And the way we're going to be doing that is with offensive pressure. As I said, this is a very offensive team. Uh, the plan is get the rocks up and then just keep them there by not giving your opponent the opportunity to spin. But anyway, um, we've done uh, we've done this one. So the next one is this. Um, we're going to give this enough speed to beat um, Thunderous, which is base 111, I believe, uh, and hits 353 speed. So we want to go 354. Um, and then we'll invest the rest in attack and HP uh, and that gives us a pretty solid EV spread and we, we're gonna go for swords dance as I said and roost because obviously this is very vulnerable to hazards having roost there is lovely especially as we're setting up and this thing can't be will-o-wisp which is delightful it, it beats through our uh, stall break and mew quite nicely which is good um, so yeah I really like that we're gonna go for swords dance roost and then obviously flare blitz and um, brave bird and I was just checking there we have put gale wings on so it's fine I I have nightmares about not putting Gale Wings on, having Flame Body by accident, and just having a really bad time. Because um, Will's done that a couple of times in the IEP, and it's made him look a right mug. He forgot to put Skill Link on a Chinchino once, and it lost in the battle. Uh, sorry. Sorry to call you out there, buddy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's going to be our, our two offensive cores. They're really, really powerful, um, and break through a lot of teams, just, just purely by offensive pressure. Um, and as I said, we're going to be pairing the Staraptor with uh, a Volt Switch user, which is going to be Raikou. I, I, this is another one of the crutches that I've got uh, in the IEP. This thing and Staraptor have just been holding me up throughout that competition, and they're amazing. Um, so we're going to be running an Assault Vest variant, which I found is really fun to bluff Scarf or Specs with. Um, because they're so much more common than the Assault Vest set, you can bluff Scarf or bluff Specs so effectively with this, and it's fantastic. So we're going to run max special attack, max speed, and timid. Um, running, ma I'm just going to run max speed so that we speed tie with other Raikus. I'm not, and uh, I guess Starmie and that kind of thing, because that's become more common in OU recently. Uh, and we're going to run Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, um, and then Hidden Power Ice, because we don't have any ice coverage, and that's going to be important. Uh, and we're going to back that up with Shadow Ball just to hit Lattes and that kind of thing uh, a little bit harder. I'm not too fussed about having extra sensory because that hits Psychic types, most of which are Frail or Mega Venusaur. And we have these two for Mega Venusaur, so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, so yeah, that's our that's our Raikou set. And then finally, we are running a slightly bulky mod on this team. I feel like because we have so much... These two are weak to rock and we don't have any rock resistances. I really feel like having a spinner is going to be very important for this team. Um, so how I've done that is I've put a lefties extra drill on here with Mold Breaker. And the EV spread I'm going to be running on this is slightly different. Um, we're going to be running 52 in speed. Um, and then we're going to be putting max HP and max special defense. The reason we're running 52 in speed is because that allows us to um, speed creep Rotom. Basically, uh, a lot of Rotom run 219 to beat max speed Azu. I feel like some of them may also run slightly more than that to speed creep other Rotom. So we're going to go to 225 speed uh, just to make sure that we beat all those uninvested Rotoms. Um, and we can hit them with an Earthquake. With this EV spread against defensive Rotom, I think we hit a minimum of 65% with Earthquake. Um, so it's nice to have, if you know the Rotom's been weakened, and you can get an Earthquake in before you get burned, and, or Hydro Pump to death, and that that's really nice. So we're going to go for Earthquake, Iron Head, um, just for those pesky Fairy types, and then Toxic, actually, uh, for Predicted Switches, and follow that up with... What's the final move? Rapid Spin. That's it. That's the important one. <laughs> So that's going to be our spinner, and that's actually going to be the team, I think. Um, if I can remember how to spell that. Yeah, I think that's the team. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, anything you think I should change about this team, I would be very happy to see your suggestions down in the, in the description, in the comments section. Um, 
And if you could, if you could give me some, uh, maybe a better spread for this Garchomp, that would actually make me really happy because I'm not really sure what I'm doing with it, to be honest. It's it's the least well-performing member of the team at the moment, which is kind of distressing. But anyway, yeah. If you guys want to see a pace bin of this team, uh, remember to leave a like down below. I will drop one in the description at 45 likes, and I'll be super happy. So thank you all for watching. Uh, come back for the battles in the next couple of days. Uh, remember to follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Links down in the description. And uh, I will see you in the next one.